All right, golfers, let's get rid of that sway for you, okay? So what we see oftentimes, especially with higher handicappers, is golfers who have way too much lateral movement of the pelvis in the backswing. Oftentimes, this is just from a false sense of trying to shift their weight back. In order to shift their weight forward, they start to create an excessive amount of lateral. And what happens is if I just stand here and I just bump my pelvis really far away from the target, Oftentimes to try to keep me balanced, well, if I'm dead weight here and I push my pelvis back, my chest is going to fall forward. So what you'll see really often is that the golfer ends up rotating really poorly. They get compromised because of the pelvic movement. And really, the chain of the issue starts here. So pelvis gets too far over the trail side, upper body starts to fall forward. And now by left arm parallel in the backswing, I'm like falling forward with my chest. And then from here... First of all, if I do this from down the line, you'll just see my hands work really, really high and not get behind me enough because I can't rotate. But also, as soon as you start to see golfers do this, well, there's going to be a reaction in the downswing the other way. So golfer then bumps the hip slightly forward, chest falls back. Now my low point gets stuck way behind the ball because my sternum's way behind it, and I have to early release to try to hit the ball properly. Just all sorts of problems. So what we want to do instead is, you know, some element of a small lateral bump at the start of the takeaway is okay, but there does come a point where too much lateral can create that sort of issue. So what we want to focus on instead is actually trying to get that trail hip, so for me the right hip, working behind me in the backswing. So imagine almost like a wall here between the trail hip and the trail foot. We don't want the hip to break through that wall. That's going to cause my chest to fall forward. So you actually want to keep that hip inside the wall. You can actually think of it the other way and think of the lead side if I am shifting too much laterally early in my backswing and my chest falls forward, you'll see my hip start to move really away from where that left foot was positioned initially, right? So we almost want to feel a little bit more grounded and stable to where I'm creating rotation early, left shoulder is working behind the ball a little bit more instead of kind of falling forward. And we're actually going to feel like this left side, so our lead side for me here, stays stable and rotates and you'll see that trail hip start to work a little bit more behind me. Obviously it might feel very exaggerated for you if you're somebody who kind of does this, but exaggerations are necessary to find a happy medium when you have a golf ball on the floor. So really good, really simple drill. I almost just wiped out there. Take a ball, put your hip along the ball, along the wall. And this is why I'm kind of placing the camera this way. And all I want you to do is create back swings where you feel like you don't drop the ball, right? So we're creating a lot of rotation here, still feeling the weight on the inside of my back foot as I'm rotating, that shoulder still working under the chin, trail shoulder still working behind me, right? But you can see this hip is not bumping away from this wall. The lead hip is staying closer to this wall, even though my weight feels on my trail side in order to make sure I don't sway. So obviously we're trying to stay much more stable here in our backswing. If I sway and bump and then lean my hip forward, obviously the ball falls. It's a very simple, very easy drill to do. You can start out with a lot of dry rehearsals without a golf ball. You can do this in your house and then start to upgrade into a more of a driving range format where obviously you don't have a wall there, but you can always replicate it with a chair or with something that you can bring with you to the driving range, a bag stand, and then just try to retain that connection as we're turning this way instead of swaying and bumping in that fashion, okay?